From homes that float in floods to circular dwellings that defy hurricanes, here are the impressive houses that stand up to natural disasters. Living on Kamano Island in Washington State, USA means leading a life that is exposed to many dangers. Indeed, this island cannot offer a serene living environment because of its geological features. Kamano Island is relatively unstable. Earthquakes are frequent. In the 19th century, a fragment of earth broke away from the island, causing a violent tsunami. The houses were destroyed. If a family wants to move to this island, they must take certain necessary measures. This family is aware of the dangers of moving to this disaster-prone country with only 13,000 inhabitants. They need to make safety a priority, and to do that, they need to live in a house that protects them. The family called on the services of a renowned architect, Dan Nelson. This inventive architect has designed many seaside houses that are very resistant to high tides and flooding. He therefore imagined a house for this family that would be protected against all climate rigors. After more than a year, this house is finally built. It is as elegant as it is strange and was built on the north side of the island. The family has been looking forward to it, and after furnishing it, they are not at all disappointed with the result. Indeed, this family discovered with joy the particularities of this original house. It has a surface area of 290 square meters, and the two main floors rise three meters above the ground. The intermediate space, composed of glass partitions bordered by columns, is what the architect calls the flood room. You guessed it, in case of a tsunami, only this area would be affected. Depending on the strength of the flood, it could shatter the windows, but whatever happens, the upper floors where the family will live will be spared. In addition, this house can withstand wind gusts of over 140 kilometers an hour. However, this property where the architect has put all his genius must have cost the family an exorbitant amount of money, but it is the price to pay for enjoying full security on Kamano Island. And now, the family can settle down in peace in this pleasant and indestructible house. Let's go now to another island where the elements of nature are not more lenient. Sullivan's Island, located in South Carolina, USA. This island is periodically battered by hurricanes of great violence. In 1989, a devastating hurricane, nicknamed Hurricane Hugo, ravaged the island. Architect George Paul had the misfortune to learn that his family's home had been completely destroyed. Determined to overcome his misfortune, he wanted to design a family home that would not be affected by the weather. That way, as he said himself, his parents would have peace of mind for the rest of their lives. George Paul's desire was more ambitious than you might think. He not only envisioned an indestructible house, but he wanted it to be an architectural marvel. His house had to be remarkable in every way. It had to be large and luxurious, have a surprising geometric shape, and produce more energy than it consumed. George Paul had a construction company in Charleston where his nephew worked. This company undertook this ambitious project under George Paul's direction. The work was completed in 1991, and the architect's dream had come true. The house was fantastic. The house is dome-shaped, has four floors, and a surface area of 376 square meters. Completely devoid of corners and beams, this huge steel shell was built in a singular way. Initially, it was kind of a concrete half-moon, compact, not yet worked. It was then pulverized from the inside to arrange the space according to the architect's plan. Finally, the two layers, internal and external, were coated with steel. It is a circular fortress. The most ferocious hurricanes could not damage its structure. Moreover, this dwelling offers a wonder of luxury. The views are breathtaking. The terraces are beautiful and spacious. The bedrooms and bathroom overlook the sea. It is a dream house. The local residents have nicknamed it the Star Wars home. This house, which was intended for George Paul's parents at the time, has been for sale for a few years, and it costs $5 million. Despite its attractive luxury and unique shape, this house is located in too hostile an environment and reminiscent of too many tragedies to seriously interest many people. However, its design will remain a great credit to architect George Paul. Clyde Kinzer was an American entrepreneur who worked in Asheville, North Carolina, USA, as a young man. He ran a small company in the 1940s that sold thermal insulation. He himself went door to door to meet the needs of the residents. He always listened to the people and sincerely wanted to make their lives more economical and safer through his installations. Clyde saw his future success in a project designed by another company, round houses with a streamlined structure that protected them from strong winds. Clyde bought these designs and improved them. He saw that the inhabitants preferred these circular houses more and more because the coast was frequently subject to storms. So Clyde devoted himself to this design project, which would appeal to more and more people. The company thought big and changed its name to Dell Tech Homes. 
Dell Tech Homes had designed many homes in North Carolina since the 1950s, but it was in the 1980s and 90s that these homes became very popular. The worst hurricanes in the region had washed away everything but Dell Tech Homes. Today, it is one of the most important companies in the design of circular houses. The reason why they are so resistant is that there is no external part of the house that allows the winds to act with force on any point. Because the house is circular, the wind pressure is dispersed throughout the structure. If, for example, the house had been rectangular, the gust would attack one side more than another, and it is this buildup of pressure on one part of the building that would eventually destroy it. Of course, the exterior shape is not everything. Every component of a Dell Tech home is designed to reduce damage, from the windows to the siding. There are thousands of Dell Tech homes in the world. However, it would not be accurate to say that all of these homes have been spared from weather disasters without exception. There are two homes that have been damaged, one in the Bahamas and one in the Virgin Islands. But in the latter case, it was also because of the carelessness of the owner who forgot to board up the windows while Hurricane Irma was blowing in 2017. However, these two sad exceptions, which caused only property damage, were a learning and improvement opportunity for Dell Tech homes. Due to climate change, Europe is increasingly exposed to flooding. For several decades, environmental protection agencies have been warning of the increasing danger to European homes. Some architectural firms are taking these warnings into account. This is the case of the English firm Baca Architects, founded in 2003 by Richard Kautz. In recent years, Richard Kautz and his team had to carry out an ambitious project in a county in the southeast of England. They were to build the largest amphibious house, and it would be located on the north bank of the Thames, in an area highly exposed to rising waters. An amphibious house is simply a house designed to float in the event of flooding. Richard Kautz and his team had to use their genius to build what he called a safe building. This safe must defy the challenges of the environment and also be a pleasant place to live. To realize the project, the architects had to collaborate with the local environmental agency to get to know the site and determine the building plans. In the end, the architects succeeded brilliantly in this challenge. This architectural marvel was named Formosa, which means great. As you can see in the animation, when there is a surge of water, the house rises and lets the water pass under it. A tank, located on the main floor, fills with water and raises the house to a height of three meters. This one, maintained by steel posts, does not go to the drift. As for the pipes and electrical sheets, they follow the rise of the house. Moreover, these houses consume little energy and do not degrade the environment. The bad side of the story is that these houses are expensive and relatively rare compared to the needs of the populations. We only see them in developed countries. However, Richard Kautz and his team are not discouraged and are pursuing their dream of making these homes more accessible and in perfect harmony with nature. The history of China is full of remarkable and fascinating things. Inventions, techniques, recipes, arts, a whole world of prodigies has been bequeathed to us by this immense and admirable civilization. One of the most surprising facts was the construction technique. Thousands of years ago, Chinese architects built their buildings with an art that was not seen at all in the rest of the world. Like the Egyptians, the Chinese wanted to give their architectural works the character of eternity. It was necessary to have very solid elements of material composition. This element had the particularity of being edible, and they did not have to go far to find it. It was glutinous rice, a variety of rice very popular in southern China, but its applications in masonry were very satisfying and the Chinese were delighted with it. They boiled the glutinous rice in Chinese wood oil and mixed this mixture with lime to produce a mortar of which they alone had the secret. This recipe allowed them to build walls, pagodas, and all sorts of monuments. These buildings were so solid that not only have they survived the centuries without any damage, but they can still withstand earthquakes today. Even bulldozers would have difficulty in breaking them down. Entire cities were built with glutinous rice, and they've remained intact despite countless wars and natural disasters. However, the use of glutinous rice mortar has ceased altogether. Perhaps some small Chinese villages have kept this habit. In any case, Chinese scientists agreed that the glutinous rice mortar would be useful for the restoration of old buildings. Randy Wagner lives in Texas, USA, in a house next to a river. He is a man in his 40s who is humble and far-sighted. One day, he heard a forecast of heavy rains that would raise the river level dangerously. Unlike his neighbors, he took these warnings seriously, and he began to think about how to protect his home from flooding. Randy Wagner had a novel and risky idea. He wanted to install a special piece of equipment sold by Aquadam around his house for $8,300. 
It is a long plastic tube, which must be filled with water and placed around the house as a flood barrier. Randy Wagner adopted this scheme. His neighbors, who didn't understand the need for such precautions, joked about his inflatable dam. But the owner received these jokes with good humor, and in return, he encouraged his neighbors to do the same so as not to run any risks. The rains began to fall slowly, and the forecast was confirmed. The rainfall had quickly intensified. It rained so much that the river overflowed, and finally, the water spread everywhere, destroying everything in their path. This had not been seen since 1957. The residents were forced to evacuate the area, but our own Randy Wagner was able to stay home because his inflatable dam had proven to be perfectly effective. It was a life-saving investment because the floods had demolished everything but his house. But his neighbors, who had laughed at him before the disaster, were not so lucky. They had to flee, and their houses had been seriously damaged. One would think that Randy Wagner was satisfied with his victory over the bad guys. But no, his heart was in the right place, and he was sad for them. He wished they had been as careful and as wise as he was. From now on, in case of floods, Randy Wagner's wisdom will serve as an example to the neighborhood. And so ends our video where you can see some admirable buildings that nature's wrath cannot reach. As usual, don't hesitate to send us your impressions. Which of these houses impressed you the most?